Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. Yeah, Ethereum didn't really do too much today. Bitcoin performed obviously much better. That was not a surprise given that um, we have already seen yesterday that Bitcoin dominance was starting to go up because the price reacted to this orange support area and this might now be a B wave bounce. Okay, maybe it's already the fifth wave to the upside on the Bitcoin dominance chart. But if we look at altcoins, I mean, they were performing quite well in this small period here, this short period between the 6th of November and the 11th. And then we got a bounce from our Fibonacci support area, which is located between 57 and 59 percent okay and uh, okay might be a b wave we'll see how the next few days develop we're back above 60 percent just now but that's one of the explanations why the altcoins didn't perform that well or well including ethereum right um just sentiment just sentiment okay they just needed to cool off a little bit after they outperformed bitcoin for a few days now this doesn't change anything though um, ethereum still moved higher a little bit okay uh, you know, Bitcoin dominance goes up. It doesn't mean Ethereum has to go down. It just means it goes up less than Bitcoin if Bitcoin is going up. And um, I mean, Ethereum had a great, uh, yeah, as I said, period between the 6th of November and the 11th. And we have now pushed a little bit higher, deeper into that target area for a third wave. Um, you might remember that I highlighted that the third wave target, first target is the 138% extension. That's the first target for the third wave, not the maximum. And based on that, I added a support area for the subsequent wave for pullback to the chart. This is the next pullback we can watch for. Uh, it hasn't started yet, and it is the support area that matters, which at the moment only indicates the risk levels. For risk management, it's not telling you that we are now going down. No, it will be adjusted with the price until we have a confirmed top in that C wave of wave three. Then a four, fourth wave, ideally a fifth wave, that can send us one to two FIPS higher than the third. So we might end up uh, uh, at around 3,692 to 3,938, then a B wave pullback and a C wave rally. So that's how I see this cycle complete. Um, some, some of you got concerned because I talked about an upcoming um, major top on the Bitcoin chart. Well, I haven't called a top yet and I think it's gonna continue a bit more on the Bitcoin chart that will allow Ethereum to fulfill this pattern is my view. Um, it will probably take a few more months before we put a bull market top in place on the Bitcoin chart. If that's the case, Ethereum will likely follow and will also put a top in place in that upside target area there, starting at 4,790, even though that would be a very weak fifth wave to the upside. So we're rather looking at the five to five to eight K area, I would say, okay, at the moment uh, for the extensions possible, but that would already be quite a long way five anyway, okay? So don't get concerned. I mean, I haven't said Bitcoin has topped. Um, it will take a few more weeks, months probably on the Bitcoin chart before a top forms, a major top. And Ethereum has time to, to complete its pattern, no problem, altcoins as well. But as I I've been mentioning throughout this bull market, once Bitcoin puts a major top in place, the altcoins will follow, including Ethereum. Um, some might um, rally a bit more. We had that 2021 as well. I remember when we talked about the bear market in December 21 already. A lot of people were still watching for 100K. Bitcoin was already down or going down. Most altcoins were going down with Bitcoin. And um, some were, however, still performing. And that was, I remember Harmony One, Phantom, Cosmos, but they were putting high B waves in place. So some coins, what I want to say is some coins might still uh, perform while Bitcoin is already going down. Um, we'll see. We'll have to take a look at the chart, in the, you know, every chart individually. But what I want to say is Ethereum hasn't changed its pattern today. We're still watching for one more high in this bull market. We're holding above the trend line. Um, we're now in an area from where this wave four pullback could start. Probably not yet. I think we might in this third wave even see 3,511 to 3,692 before that fourth wave starts. Um, good, good reversal in this larger support area. Okay, um, the next orange box will be this one, but it might need to be adjusted, you know, if the third wave goes a bit higher. There is structural resistance here around 3,570. So it's pretty much overlapping with that 161.8 extension there. 
it's just you know there's not much structure in this move up to work with and yeah this is the structure for now okay so assumption is this fourth wave bottomed on the 5th of august it might not have bottomed then we might get one more low but that would require a break below 2563 to confirm mm, but even then the price could reattempt a rally from lower that's the update about ethereum hope you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership also make sure that you follow us on instagram and twitter for additional content thanks a lot for watching bye bye